have. So just imagine your kids are a little bit younger uh, than what these are up here, okay? Uh, but this group has been with us a long time. So uh, let's see, we've got Sarah, Callie, Abby, and Bailey over here. Wave to the people at home. Okay. All right, and over here we have Lindsay, Chloe, Ruby, and Lucy. All right, here we go. Good job. Okay, all right, next page there for us. All right. All right, so our first step is we call it reading the Word. All right, it's simple. Uh, this is on page six in our leader guide, their coaches. Uh, and so we are, first thing we always want to do is start by just reading the Scripture. All right, and so I usually ask the volunteer to read one verse aloud. So we're going to go through that. We have five verses in this section. Uh, and so if you guys will raise your hand, and if you can just peek off the coach's book there, because he's got the verses there. You raise your hand. Who wants to read for us? Okay. All right, Miss Colon. All right, she's going to read us one verse there. Paul, an apostle, not from men or by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead. Okay. Please. And all the brothers who are with me to the churches of Galatia. Good. One, three. Grace to you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Who gave himself for our sins to rescue us from his present evil age according to the will of our God and Father. Good. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Very good. Okay. So it's about a minute. Um, but the, the beautiful thing about that is, is kids get to experience reading God's word aloud. And that's really powerful uh, for kids to be able to do. Okay. So that's, that's how we start. All right. Uh, we can go to the next page there. All right. And now we're going to move to what we call rapid fire. Okay. Uh, and rapid fire is essentially where we're going to go through a page of verses. This is uh, verses one through five is what this unit is about. And we're going to have the leaders here go through these verses with the kids. Essentially, it's a fill in the blank. And that's what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to read these verses over and over and over and let the kids eventually fill in the blank without being able to look at them. So I'm going to let them go ahead and get started. Okay, and I'll keep explaining some things uh, as we go through. Uh, and I'll read through it a little bit as they're doing. So you can go ahead and start, okay? So the first one is, Paul, an apostle, not from men or by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead. And so the leader's going to say, Paul what? And everybody would say, an apostle. So I'll do it again. Paul what and what? Apostle. Thank you very much. All right, good job. All right. Not from men or by men, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father. Okay? And so we're going to keep going through this process, but we're only going to spend three minutes on that page, okay? We're not going to spend ten. We're going to spend three. Because what happens is if we spend three minutes, we're going to condition kids to learn quicker, all right? The, when they're around speed, they will get faster. And if you will condition them to work toward that, they'll actually accomplish that better, okay? And so that's super important. It is just a fill in the blank, and that's all we're really trying to accomplish there uh, from that standpoint. And would you flip to the next screen there? So your job as a director or the person who's in charge is basically directing the volunteers to rapid fire those verses, and it's going to tell them this is only going to be about three minutes. The parent or the volunteer's job is to read the verses and they can have the kids around them at the very beginning and that works out just fine because the kids have not seen this we don't expect that the kids come in and know this information beforehand we expect that this is the first time that they've seen it because our goal is to introduce it and then we're going to send them home and to practice it all week uh, so that's a very important part of what we're trying to do the uh, key with this is to make sure that the coach is keeping the kids involved. You don't want to just ask questions for a minute and be done. You want to keep going so that they can get used to the answers and there's keep working through the process there, okay? For the players, the key kids are improving focus, okay? I have parents tell me over and over and over after they go through this program, their kids get better at test, their kids get better at school, because now they're learning a process that they're seeing something. Oh, I got to get that. And then they're going to go over here and they're going to apply it. So they're going to improve their focus. 
There's speed, okay? And that's a huge thing because Bible Bowl is about speed. And this helps them learn that faster and be able. And finally, accuracy, okay? So those are three huge components that we really get out of this, this program here. All right. Are you guys good? All right. I think we're, we're going to move on. They're not. They were just moving on anyway. Okay. Um, our next thing is called Minute to Get It. Coaches, this is on pages six and seven in your leader guide. And we've included the little clock. The little clock tells you what we're doing, which is in this one is Galatians 1, 1 and 2. But also, it actually has it circled. And that's really cool because if you've ever done this before with rapid fire, you have to look at this whole page of questions and you have to decide, okay, how far am I going to go? What am I going to do? And this makes it so that we are only doing those questions there, okay? So we've broken each page up into two sets. So we're going to play this minute to get it. And the way minute to get it works is uh, we are going to have these coins here, all right? Put them on the floor, okay? There's 15 of them, all right? The kids are in a circle, uh, so Mr. Dowdy is going to ask player number one a question, all right? And she has two answers to give the answer. If she gives it correctly, she's going to pull a coin. If she doesn't get it correct, then Mr. Dowdy's going to give her the correct answer, and then he's going to go to player number two. She gets no coin, all right? The go is, is you can't give them more than two seconds because this is a game that has to go fast, and that's what you're teaching the kids. It has to go fast, all right? The goal is to earn Bible Bowl Bucks, and to do that, they need to earn, they need to get 15 or more in one minute as a team, okay, as a team, all right? Uh, now, this group, I'm expecting to get a lot more than that. So once they get to 15, they're actually going to start laying them back down. We'll see who gets more in this one-minute time frame, okay? Uh, so let me get uh, set up on a uh, timer here so we can get you guys set for that. Okay, you guys ready for one minute? Okay, All right. this is probably my favorite part in, in Bible Bowl <laughs> is because uh, usually we have a group of eight or ten uh, different groups. And when I say go, to hear God's word just be just and everybody's saying it one time is really, really awesome. Uh, so this is really neat. And you can see they're kind of intense up here. Are you all ready? Okay, <laughs> they're ready. Okay, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And all the what who are with me? To the churches where? Paul, what? The apostle. Not by me or by, uh, from here, by man, God the Father. Christ, the new, God the Father who raised him from ben. the what? And all the what who are with me? To the churches Galatia. where? Good. Paul, what? An apostle. Not from man or God by the man, Father. But by Jesus Christ, the new God the Father who raised him from the what? Good. And all the what who are with me? Good. To the churches where? Galatia. Paul, Paul, what? An apostle. Not from men or by man, but Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. God the Father. 20 seconds. Time. All right. Okay. All right. So the leaders are going to... Here's the really cool part. We have this score log that's on this page. So you're going to literally keep score as you go through the night. So this minute to get it, round one, if they got 15 or more, then you're going to circle 10. All right? Okay? And if they didn't get 15, then you're going to circle five. So no matter what, they earned Bible bubble bucks for playing that game. Okay? And they answered questions. How many did you all get? Do you know? 30 total. 30 total. Okay. All right, so they, they, they got the same number of Bible books, but they got 30, which was awesome, you know, to be able to. Did you all know what you got? 21, okay, all right. Because they didn't quite do it right, but it's okay. I'll tell them in a minute. All right, uh, so that was a great job. And what is neat about that is 30 answers in a minute, which means they're, they're putting that in their brains, and they're just getting it over and over and over, okay? So, so that's essentially how we do it, but we do this two rounds. So, so... Your goal is, this is the first round, and now the second round is the bottom half of that page. So, here. Ah. Which was why that was tougher for him, because he did the whole page. 
So we break it up into two so that all of a sudden you have the opportunity for them to hear the questions more and more and more. Okay. So we're going to let you all go ahead and do this again. Yes. Uh, we're going to let you all do this one more time, and I'm going to go over a couple things with them. Okay. But you all can do the three through five. That's right. That's good. Okay. All right. So all right, I'm going I'm to start time for you guys, and I'll talk for a minute. Go. Go. Okay. So what I usually try to do is, you know, we're in a group of usually four or five kids in a group, but my goal is, is to get a couple of volunteers in each group. That's really what I shoot for, okay? And I use older siblings. I just grab people. Come on, let's just do this with us, okay? Because when we play Minute to Get It, if you can get it down to two kids instead of four or five, then it's more times that they're going to be able to say those answers over and over and over. And that's what you're trying to accomplish. Now, that would require you to have another book. So when we get to the buying the book part, you need to have a couple of books for a group of four, okay? But the cards, you only need one set for, okay, from that standpoint. Um, the other thing that is, let's see here is you want to make sure that you're celebrating the, as you're going through the process, that you're having fun with them, that they're enjoying that very end of the game by counting it down for them. So five, four, three, two, one, time. Okay, how do we do? Okay. They, were just, they were just quizzing. Okay, good. Awesome, thank you. Okay, how'd y'all do? Oh, they're just quizzing too. Okay, good. Well, that's great. Good job. All right. So both of you circle 10. We'll just assume y'all at least got 15 there. So, okay. So, so we would circle it, and we now know that each team has earned 20 Bible bucks for what they've done so far, okay, which they're going to get at the end of the night, which they're going to get to spend, okay? All right. So, uh, so that's our minute to get it, uh, and, and it's really a, a, just an awesome way for kids to learn. Okay, next page is our relay quote game, all right? And um, this we're really excited about because this is something that, that I think that Bible Bowl has struggled with, Beginner has struggled with for years, trying to get all the kids to try to participate in working on learning memory verses. Because we have a few that really do well with that, and then we have a lot that don't get involved with it, okay? And so what we've done is, is we've combined learning a memory verse and playing a relay game together, okay? So both of those things are going to happen. You're going to see that in just a second here, okay? We have these memory verse card sets, okay? So this, in beginner, there's 40 total memory verses for the season. We have all 40 in these sets, but instead of just being one for each one of these, there's 12 cards that make up each verse, okay? Because our goal is, is we are going to have the kids say these verses over and over and over, but then we're going to actually have them put them together where they have to be in the correct order, okay? So they're saying it, so we're having the word being said over and over and over, and then they're actually going to have to put it in order at the end of the game, okay? So it's really kind of a neat process that we've done that. We've also created 40 unique relay games. So there's 80 total units for the season. 40 of them have unique games. So basically that means when we play tonight and you have five units, you're going to have five different relay games, okay? And those relay games are going to have all the materials that you need. So you just need to get the materials. But like this first one, uh, it says materials. You need verse card set number one, which these are all labeled, okay? And then you will also need 12 small Dixie cups, all right, which we have those up here. And you need one paper wad, okay? And that's per team, okay? Uh, so it tells you what the material is. It's also going to tell you the setup. Set 12 cups either on the floor or table in a straight line, one to two inches apart, about six feet from the team, okay? So when they play this game, they're going to play from about here, okay? All right. Uh, and then it's going to tell you what to do. Players take turns throwing one paper wad attempting to knock over a cup, but that's after they do the, uh, do the say their verse. So uh, let's go to the next page. And there is a video. Uh, we have the Knights uh, who did this video for us about a week and a half ago. Uh, I called them. I said, hey, I need a video. And uh, so they were gracious enough to do that. So I don't know if you can, you can play that loud enough there for us. That would be okay. awesome. Yes. Galatians 1.10, for am I trying to persuade people or God? Or am I striving to please people? If I were still trying to please people, 
I would not be a servant of Christ. Galatians. Nice. Okay. All right. So um, this is a four-minute game. All right. I will tell you when you get halfway through the year, you can take that down to about three minutes because it, it will take you a little longer at the beginning. Uh, but the way it works is is the director is going to set up this relay game during the minute to get it. So when they're doing minute to get it, the director has some free time, and they're going to go grab those things, and they're going to set up the game. It's really easy. I use like four and five year olds to help me set up these games all the time. Okay, they, okay, take this to that table, put it on there, you know, so, uh, and it makes it really simple. Then the director is going to explain the relay, okay? So I'm basically going to say, because once they know that they have to say the verse and they have to flip the card over, then it's just really telling them what the relay is, okay? So they're going to start by, Lindsay's going to say the verse in its entirety because she has the cards in her hand. Okay, there's 12 cards. They've been divided up among the kids equally, okay? And she has the card in here. She's going to read the verse from the card, okay? Because she doesn't know the verse right now, all right? She's going to read the verse from the card. Then she's going to flip it upside down on the ground or on a table or on a chair. It does not matter, all right? And then she's going to go play the game. As soon as she's done reading the verse, then Lucy's going to read the verse, okay? And then Ruby's going to read the verse. So it's just a go, go, go. And then they're going to play the game, which means the coach, sometimes the games have the coach involved. But in this round, the coach is probably just going to be gathering the paper wad and throwing it back to the team, okay? But some games, we did make the coaches do work, okay? Um, so that's how it works. And so it's just that same process over and over and over again. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try this. Okay, you guys ready? Let's, let me scooch, your, just scooch these out of the way. Okay, you guys can throw from, let's say, right here. This would be a good spot. Okay, you're going to read the verse, and then you're going to throw. Now, th throw your card on the ground right here is fine. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's okay. All right, you guys lined up there. Okay, all right. Reading the verse, throw the card on the ground upside down, throw the paper wide, and you start. All right, you ready? Here we go. Uh, on your mark, let's see how fast y'all can do this. Get set, go. So one of the questions sometimes I'll get is, is you know, what if I have kids who are really little, like can't read type of thing, and, and that's okay? Uh, so what we do there is, you remember, we're just trying to help them learn the word. That's really what this is about. So just have the leader of the group read the verse with them. Okay, you don't want them taking 30 seconds where all the other kids are waiting, but you want them to hear the verse. So that's okay. So just have that reader. Hey, let's, let's read this together. Da 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 da, and go right through that. Okay, all right. So, but what's neat about this is it is it number one makes them say this verse. So if you have four kids in a group, they're all going to say it three times. Okay, which is more times than usually they ever see the verse <laughs> on a given week. And then they're also trying to accomplish this game. And so they're going to get Bible Bowl Bucks for both things, okay? If they get the verse done and they put it in order, they earn 10 Bible Bowl Bucks. If they just get it done but they don't get it in order before time is called, they earn five, okay? But either way, they're earning Bible Bowl Bucks, okay? Then they actually earn bucks for how well they do in the game. Every game has 12 attempts, so that's it. So once they get to 12 attempts... That means they're now putting their cards together. You can see that this group is doing that. And then, then they're going to score here. So I think it's less than six, they get five Bible books. Six to ten, they get ten Bible books. And if they were to get 11 or 12, then they actually get 15 Bible books. Okay? So it's, it's an incentive for them to keep trying to accomplish it. But they only get 12 total attempts at each of the games. And so the cool part about this is that th this never changes now. The only thing that changes is we use a different verse that they're going over, okay? 
and that we actually are putting the, a different game into play, okay? But the process is the same, and that's the really neat part. Let's see, how y'all doing? Are y'all done? Ooh, awesome. Are y'all done? Okay, that's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, they're not done. Well, are you all done? Are yours in order correctly? Let me do some check in here. <laughs> all right, good. All right, well, that was just a little over two minutes. Okay, now these, of course, teens, and they've done this a little bit more. But the key is, is I think you'll get down to about three minutes with the kids because they'll just get used to it, and it just will work. So it really will do a nice job. Okay, you good? Okay, all right, okay. All right, uh, next slide on that, please. Okay, so the key here, secrets to success. Number one, teach the system, okay? Once they understand it, it's just like clockwork. You just keep going through it. And the awesome thing is, is like, let's see, eight years? You've been in eight years? I don't know, she's my daughter, she's been with me forever. She's three. Lucy's, this is her third year coming up, right? How many years? Five, a lot, nine, three, two. Okay, so when we put this system into place, they can step into our practice at any time and fill a row because they, they know exactly what to do, okay? And so you can have people come in as volunteers and they know exactly what to do once they've seen this system in place. And that's the beautiful part of it. Uh, the big key that I ask for is I, I really want my coaches to be involved. I picked two incredible men up here, Mr. Jackson and Mr. Dowdy, who've helped me for years. We have over half of our volunteers are men at our program, okay? And we, we expect it. We ask for it. We want the dads to be there. It's a huge push. We know moms will come, okay? We get that. But we are, we are pushing for dads to be there because if we can get a dad there with his kids, it's, it's, it's awesome, okay? It really is awesome. And what's neat about that is that, number one, dads are pretty competitive because they don't really like to lose very often, okay? And that's a big deal for them, and it pushes the kids because I have to sometimes tell dads, no, you can't build a tower for them. They get to build a tower themselves, you know. But, um, but that's the way dads are, okay? Uh, but, but that's neat. But when we play games, we, we want them to be involved, and, I mean, I have parents diving all over the place during our games, and that's what I love because it's good for them to do that. The other thing that's really neat is that, as a parent, we have a lot on our plates. We maybe had a tough day. We got something coming up tomorrow. When you get to, to our practice, it all goes away because there's only one thing you're working on is what's, what's right in front of me. <laughs> and, we, and we just keep putting it right in front of you. And when you're playing that game, you're not thinking about anything else except trying to win that game. And it's what's neat about that is it's an open spot for God's Word to get into the heart. It's not blocked by all the junk that's going on in our lives. It's all of a sudden we're free to see it. And it's really, really neat. Uh, so anyway, I just encourage you to make sure that that's happening. The last thing is there, you got to keep moving. I mean, everything is move, move, move. Uh, and we'll move to the next page, please. So that'd be great. Uh, okay, what just happened? Did we do it right? What's next? So our goal of a unit was to read the Word, and we read the Word, okay? We played two rapid-fire games of Minute to Get It, all right? And then we played a relay quote game, all right? All that happens in 15 minutes or less, okay? I think you'll find you'll get yourself to about 12 to 13 minutes doing one unit, okay? You'll cover all that material, and you'll have it. You record the scores on their sheets, and then we move to the next page and we start on the next unit, okay? And for a given day, a given practice, you're gonna cover five of those, okay? We know that the director is huge to make sure they're staying focused on time. Move, move, move through processes, all right? The leaders need to keep the kids engaged, okay? Don't let them go be wandering to get water and going to the bathroom. And do that before and do it after because we, we, got, we got this hour and a half and we're gonna plow through it, okay? Uh, the kids, um, every time we ask them, what do you remember about Beginner Bob Bow? They tell me two things. Candy and games. That's the things they remember, okay? I know I've poured the word in into them. I, I know we've accomplished that. But they remember those two things. And that is, that is a language 
that these kids speak. <laughs> and if you're not speaking it, then you need to be speaking it, okay? Because <laughs> it is huge, all right? This reward zone is, is, a, is an absolute monster. So, um, so once you've done that, then you actually are going to go through the rest of the units for that night. There's four of them, okay? And then after you complete the last one, we go to what we call our session wrap-up. So we're going to flip to the next page there. Don't worry about all the words, just a few things. Um, three ways that we ask you to reward the kids. Number one, for what they just did tonight. Okay, they will earn a minimum of 100 Bible bucks for being here. They could be a bump on a log, they're still gonna earn 100 Bible bucks, okay? But we hope to get more out of them than that, okay? But they can also earn up to 225, depending on how well they do during the games and how well they do in their sessions there, okay? The other thing that we do is we want to give them an opportunity to say memory verses. So every night we work on five memory verses that we're working on them learning. We're going to send them home to work on them at home that week. When they come back the next week, our goal is for them to be able to say those five memory verses. And we're going to give them 25 Bible books for each one that they can say perfectly. Okay? So if, let's say, first week we're doing verses one, memory verses one through five... Well, then when they come back the next week, that's when they get to say those, okay? And so that's what that is. So that's 125 that they can earn. And the last thing is, and we don't have it finished yet, but we are working on our practice at home opportunities. We do that at, at our church now. We will have that set up for you, but it's designed in this program so that every night you go home and you work on one unit. So if you met on Sunday, on Monday you would work on unit one. On Tuesday, you'd work on unit two, and we're going to have different ways that they can work on just that unit. Our goal is for them to work on it about 15 minutes a night. That's our dream. Now, will all the kids do it? Not going to do that. We understand. But we want to give them the opportunity, and you have to have that laid out. And so that's what this does, and it will allow them to earn 75 Bible Bowl bucks for doing those things each day. Okay? And the parents are checking it off, so all you have to do as a coach is at the end of the week, say, oh, did the parents check it off? So we'll provide all that stuff for you, okay? All right, next page. All right, our reward zone. Uh, and you can come up and see this afterwards. Uh, our, they range from five BBB bucks for little bitty candies, uh, 25 for these Skittles and M&M type size, 100 for little miscellaneous things from Oriental Trader, and then I think our big candies are going to be 300 because inflation has hit, so sad. But uh, 300 on the big candies, the theater candies, okay? We also, at our church, we also do gift cards, uh, which I think will be $7.50 next year for a $5 gift card, okay? So you can see the kids can earn, um, they can earn up to 400 a week, you know, when they do that. So it doesn't take real long for them to get there, but that means they've got to do everything in the process. Uh, so it really gives them an opportunity. We set up the reward zone every night. It's the first thing the kids see when they come in. They're all up there looking at it. The teen players are all coming over, checking it out. Say, can I help volunteer? Because they know they get candy if they volunteer, so they're just that way, you know. Um, but, but they're mentally working through, what am I going to get, okay? It's just like, how many people have ever gotten a gift card? Okay, and you're like, okay, when am I going to use that? What am I going to get, right? You're always thinking, okay, I'm going to be getting this with it. Like, I, I get a $50 gift card, and I've kind of like... $4,000 of purchases in my mind for that same $50 gift card, you know, so kids do the same thing, okay, and it's just having those things and, and being prepared for them, okay, all right, next page, all right, back to the beginning, um, our vision was to learn God's word in an exciting and effective way, um, I'm going to tell you from my experience, two people that, that transformed my life for my parents, my mom and my dad. And my dad died at 47, and my mom brings heaven to earth every day because she just loves everybody and does everything. And they, they work so hard to impact us. My mom intentionally making sure that we were, were always in church in the Word. You know, grew up Catholic, but she was always big on Bible studies at home and People say Catholics don't do Bible. That's, that's not true at our house because we did a lot of Bible. And they weren't always fun, and my mom had really long prayers, and that's just what it was, but, but, but it was, she was committed to, to being in the Word. And my dad lived his life in such a way that, that 
he impacted people because of how he loved them, how much he cared, how much he gave. Uh, kind of a neat story. When he had his cancer, he was at church one time, and this lady was talking about how this guy was singing so terrible. She was kind of complaining, why is this guy singing so bad? He shouldn't be singing. And she walks up to communion, and she sees it's my dad, and he's hunched over a hymnal. My mom's holding it for him. He's singing, you know, with all of his heart, you know. They taught me, you know, the power of, of love and passion. And, and my dad did that through games. He loved games. Everything he did was through games. And so they have impacted my life because of those two things. You know, I get that love of games from my dad, and I get that passion for the Lord teaching the Bible from my mom. And, and, and I'm telling you all that because you all are the ones that make the difference. You do. In every family life that you come in contact with. You have the opportunity to make that difference. One way or another, you're going to make a difference. And, and if you can use tools that can make this fun for their family, really for them to come and enjoy, and at the same time be effective to really learn a lot of the Word, those are powerful things put together. And, and I just feel like we've really accomplished that through our program. And this book gives us the opportunity to share that with people all over the world. You know, we, we spent some time last year at the Children's Pastors Conference in Orlando with kind of a mock-up version of this. And we had, a, we had like 70 people trying to get it from us. Uh, and we can't wait to share it this year now that we've really got it built. But I know as a leader what's difficult is time. It's just you don't have enough time to do the things you want to do to prepare. And this book lays everything out for you. And all you have to do is now you can focus on the families. You can focus on the kids. You can really focus there because everything else is built. The games are there for you. You just got to gather a few supplies. The material's there for you. You just got to follow the process. And so, so that's really what, what it's about, learning God's Word in an exciting and effective way, making sure the kids have a great time. Your volunteers, I mean, I can't hardly get rid of my volunteers. Even when their kids are gone, they still come back, you know, because they have fun. They're learning the Word. They learn more Word in, in four months than they do in most of their lifetime, you know, doing this this way. And they have fun doing it, you know. Uh, and finally, as a leader, it's just great for you because you have now the opportunity to share that with, uh, with other people. So, all right, last slide. Uh, cost, way too cheap. Uh, was not happy with Mr. Keith when he came up with, it's only $39 to get this book, which is the entire season, and all these cards, okay, which is the entire season, and broken up into the things. It is a phenomenal deal at $39, okay? Um, I would recommend you get a set together, okay, for every four kids, okay? And then I would recommend buying a second book, okay, because I would like for you to try to have one of these for every two kids, because that would be my goal for you, is to learn to push to get volunteers in your program, okay? And that is a great way to do that, all right? Um, we're going to be having updates. Those are going to be on bbbmadeeasy.bible.org. Okay, so those will be coming in August. So we're trying to get video shot of all these games. So the games they were doing tonight, we're actually going to shoot videos of all 40 of the games. So that as a leader, you can watch those and go, okay, oh, this is what we do, <laughs> you know, because it's kind of hard to explain in one line. Okay, uh, so also on there, we will give you a materials list. So Week one has five units, and that's one session. We're going to give you the list of everything you need for that night. I need paper wads. I need 12 Dixie cups. I need, you know, a bouncy ball. I need a hat. You know, whatever that might be, okay, from that standpoint. Um, and then we also are going to do one-on-one -on -one Zoom training. So if you know somebody and I, that who's not here, somebody that, you know, could benefit from this program, we're happy to do one-on-one -on -one Zoom training with them. You know, we'll get them the resources. We can walk through that process. Uh, if you want us to do that with you to kind of explain more, happy to do that as well. I'll stay after for, for any kind of questions and stuff. Uh, we just want to help you. You know, at the end of the day, we love Bible Bowl so much. Uh, my daughter probably knows that more than anybody because I wear her out about it all hours of the night, all days of the year, nonstop, right? <laughs> 
right? So six hours she had to ride with me down here, and, and she didn't have to worry about anything getting boring because, you know, I talked about Bible the whole time. So, uh, But we really want, do want to share that with you guys. So, uh, All right, I think that's my spiel. How about a round of applause for these awesome people on the stage? Thank you all. Appreciate it. All right, and if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them. Okay, if you want, if you want to raise a hand, or if you just want to come up, either way. Yes, you got a question. Thank you all. Y'all can have. Go ahead. Yes. No, there's not a lot. Yeah. Is there tournaments? Yes. So, yeah, they always generally happen in March unless you have COVID. But we had ours in March. We were going to Indianapolis the following week, and it got canceled. <laughs> so one a year, yes. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't, but I think Minta might have did one at Mountain View. She may have done a beginner there. Yes, that th I think that's correct. Yes. And one thing that, that we feel like is coming, we don't know how quick it's going to get here, but we do feel like there's going to be an online opportunity for us to reach out to families who don't have... Uh, Lindsay wrote a, a really nice little short, short story <laughs> that we presented to the board. It was kind of cute. It was, it was Jesus talking to his dad. And he was saying, uh, okay, God was saying, okay, well, you got the plan? She says, yeah, I got the plan. I got to go down to earth. I got to die for everybody, you know, do all, all these things and stuff. And he says, well, what are you gonna, how are you going to get people to believe? And she says, well, I guess I'll go to the synagogue leaders, and I'll talk to them and uh, see if they can get on board with it. And they'll have to decide if they're going to switch all their scrolls and stuff to this new way of thinking. And do they have the money to invest in the program? And you know, and then, then they say, okay, then now we got to go get these leaders who are going to lead the program, and we got to get these groups of four who are going to play in the program, you know, and we kind of a cute little story, and it was, it was just kind of making sure that we understood, leave that out, Lindsay, for a second, um, that we're, we're trying to f kind of fight a battle of getting the program into churches, which is difficult, you know, because there's a lot of obstacles, you know, to go through, where Jesus basically said, okay, okay, let's go. One person, and then they picked another person. Let's go, you know. And it was just one-on-one, -on -one, you know. And, and I think there's going to be an opportunity for us on an online opportunity where we're going to be able to go to individuals in Iowa, in Minnesota. You know, we had our tournament. His son played in our tournament, you know, a few weeks ago. And he didn't come down. He was just online. And he played in a tournament. And he took a test. And he won. He, he was the high score in a test. And it was all online, you know. So there's opportunities, and so we just have to kind of keep looking for those. So I promise you that's going to come at some point. Because uh, our goal is, is Beginner Bible, Bible is about, we, we, we do talk a lot about the game, but the, but the goal is to get people in God's Word, you know. And we're, and we're trying everything we can to be able to get there. So, so we're working on that. So. Right, if you guys want to come see, oh, look at them. Did you all take candy? See, I knew they were taking candy. So, so. All right, uh, if y'all want to come see the reward zone, kind of see what that looks like. If you have any questions, I'm here. Thank you all so much for staying. I appreciate that a lot. Okay. Uh, the book is over uh, for sale over there. I do have one up here, too, uh, if you want to take a peek at that. And the cards. Let's see. Oh, the one thing I would tell you on the books is these are the best things. You can only buy these next month. Or coming up very soon, Walmart sells them for two dollars, the best deal you can ever buy. Okay, these big pencil bags, they're only one time a year they're out. They're great because the kids can put their book in them. You put a sticker on them with their name on it, they can put they put all their candy or all their Bible books in it. This is the world. And this is what I will use for my leaders. Yeah, Walmart. Oh, it's soon and as soon I buy I buy every one you get. <laughs> Yeah, you buy every one you can get because they go away. But uh, this is, uh, this is, and that's just what I'll give to my leaders this year. So my leader guide's in here, you know, and they'll have that in there, and they'll be ready to go, you know. So, so anyway, that's, uh, that works. But, the, yeah, the book has turned out. Do you really. Really. timer, like a big... I don't. I, I do actually want to get one. I do, too. I was uh, thinking you're doing that. Is there a timer?